Welcome to the fifth module in the ongoing series about hidden Markov models. And this particular module is going to be about treating a hidden Markov model as if it's just like any other language model. And as before, to refresh your memory, uh, HMM consists of a probability of starting at a state i, a transition probability, and an emission probability. So each state can emit any of the words in the vocabulary. And there are many hidden Markov models, hidden Markov model algorithms. We've already seen HMM as a parser, and in this section, we're going to look at HMM as a language model, so basically treating it. Um, as if it's a n-gram model even though there are hidden states and uh, I'll explain what that means um, so in the case of a HMM as a language model um, we want like any other language model to be able to get the probability of a sequence of words so what's the probability of killer clown and we're given a HMM so we're given all of these probabilities like start transition and emission probabilities if you want to find the probability of uh, killer clown we basically have to use the states and the only way to get uh, rid of the states is to take every possible uh, state sequence and simply sum over each possibility. So by summing over each possibility essentially we're uh, uh, marginalizing out that um, term. So that's a term from probability. Essentially is the same idea as when you take sum of x, p of x. So this should be equal to 1. right? So basically what we've done is just summed over all the different entries of this p and and removed it. Uh, in the same way, what we're doing is, um, in order to get just this term, we're summing over all of the different y's. And what that gives us is just the probability of the sequence. Um, so every possible sequence, uh, we're adding up all of the probabilities, and that gives us the language model score. So if you expand that out, just expand out the summation, uh, just like we did in finding the best sequence where we had the brute force method was take every possible sequence, find the probability, sort it, and take the best one. In this case, we're actually interested in summing over. Uh, so we sum all of the different possibilities together, and that gives us uh, just the probability of the string because now we've taken to, into account all the different state sequences possible. So if you do that for two words that's possible, you can just write down the sum, do it by hand. But we have run into the same problem that we did with the brute force approach for parsing using HMM, finding the best sequence of states, we will end up having to enumerate lots and lots of states. So for killer crazy clown problem, we end up having two to the four terms. So we want to do the same thing that we did in the Viterbi algorithm. We just want to use the idea of the Viterbi algorithm, but instead of finding the max, the best sequence of states, we want to find a sum over all the states possible. So this seems like a harder problem, but it turns out to be exactly the same thing as finding the max. Um, in a sense, in the Viterbi algorithm, this sum was replaced with argmax. And in order to compute the argmax, you actually need to compute um, all of the scores to find out which is the best one, right? Because you have to, to essentially you have to uh, search through all of the state sequences, and instead of taking the max, we just take the sum, and that's it. That's the whole idea behind this. Uh, this pretty much summarizes this whole section. But let's go through it in more detail. And uh, essentially, the idea is replacing the arc, the max, with the sum. So. Just like before, we want to split this up into a subproblem. So instead of solving it for all four words, we want to take a prefix. So instead of killer crazy clown problem, 
we just look for the most um, sorry the sum of the the sum uh, in this case not the most likely but the sum over the sequence of states for killer crazy clown okay um, and it's the same as before we want to look for well what are the settings for s4 well there's two possibilities it's either n or a right so it must be the case that if we know the settings for s1 through s3 then all we need to do is add that term and that term and that gives us the sum for s1 through s4 it's pretty straightforward and it's just replacing the max with the sum that's the only difference and we want to create a table as before the dynamic program table and in this case we have again a state a state n and that goes up to a certain index so what is the so v n comma 3 actually encapsulates the score of every possible sequence ending in a noun so it has to end in a noun so in we want to compute the sum over all the states but this is all the states ending in a noun and similarly if we have v of a comma 3 that would be every state sequence ending in an a, a and what we do is we take the one up to an n and extend it by one which could either be an n or an a right and in the same way we extend the all the one ending in an a and extend it for problem which could be either n or a and in each case we would use the HMM uh, parameters to extend it um, so we can take a, a three word sentence which is indexed up to three and go to a four word sentence so we take a prefix and extend it one word at a time so putting them together what we have is we can have v of n comma three and we want to reach a n right so we go from an n to an n using the probability of n comma transition of n comma n and since we end up in an n we generate problem with a n and the alternative is we start from an a and go to an n so we go from a to an n and then generate an n generate problem through an n and same way we have these term for v of a comma 4 so notice again instead of max sum that's all so the best score for the input is just the sum of these two scores so for an input of length t we want to find now the probability of the observation sequence so it's called language model probability and we do that by summing out all of the different states each y sub t is one of the states and for each state q we initialize a table and that's the starting at q and generating o sub 1 and then um, the algorithm is the same as Viterbi instead of max we just sum over all the different scores we get and what this is doing is um, is a way to um, recursively compute the sum over all the different state sequences using the same logic that we did for finding the best sequence and then after the loop terminates the best score is the sum of all the states in the last uh, the last uh, time intervals capital T so Viterbi with sum instead of max gives us an algorithm for HMM as a language model and this algorithm is sometimes called the forward algorithm 